Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.15 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the time constant for each circuit in figure 7.95. So we are given two circuit A and B and maybe let's start from circuit A first. Okay, I have prepared two slides for that. This is for question A. Okay, so what can we do from here? We need to simplify this circuit into a single resistor and a single inductor circuit. Okay, let's see here. Here we have this 10 ohm resistor in parallel with this 40 ohm. And then that parallel is in series with this 2 ohm. Okay, so let's write that like this so I will have 10 in parallel with 40 right so I'll have 10 in parallel with 40 and then the result will be in series with 2 ohm. so I'll have plus 2 then okay that's good so now let's change this circuit symbol parallel into mathematical symbol so I will have that R is equivalent to 10 multiplied by 40 divided by 10 plus 40 then plus 2 okay okay 10 multiplied by 40 that will be 400 and then 10 plus 40 that will be 50 and then plus 2 400 divided by 50 I think that will be 8 right so I will have the resistance here will be 8 and then plus 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. And remember that we work with the unit ohm, all of them. So this still be in ohm. So this is our resistance here. So we can replace all the resistor here by this resistance here, 10 ohm. So, we will have our new circuit like this. With our resistance here is 10 ohm. And then our inductance here. That will be 5 Henry. Okay. And we are asked about the time constant. What is our time constant? Tau is the inductance L divided by the resistance our inductance here is 5 henry so i'll have 5 henry and then divided by 10 ohm 5 divided by 10 is just 0 0.5 and the unit here will be second but i think i just write it in millisecond 0 0.5 seconds is just 500 millisecond and that is the time constant for the circuit A. Okay. I think we did a good job for this circuit A. Let's move on to circuit B. Okay. We have to be more careful here because it looks complicated. But I think we can uh, analyze this first. So this 14 ohm resistor is in parallel with this 160 ohm resistor. Right. So let's write that first. So I will have 40 and then plus, oh not plus, in parallel with 160. Okay. Okay, now imagine that parallel resistor as a single resistor will be here. But that will be in series with 48 ohm, right? So I will have plus 48 here. Okay. Let's change this parallel a circuit notation into arithmetic notation. So I will have the resistance will be 40 times 160 divided by 40 plus 160 and then plus 48. Okay, I think I just want to leave this as is. So I will have, no, I I will multiply it. So I will have 64 and with double zero here divided by 40 plus 160 is 200 I think and then plus 48 ok 
Okay. And then, I think I will have 3,200 on this one. Oh, no, no. This will cancel in the 100 will cancel. So, I will have 32, right? Then, plus 48. Okay. So, I will have the resistance is equal to 80 ohm. Okay. But then I see the resistor is in millihenry. So let's convert that into henry first. So our inductance is 20 millihenry. Or that will be 20 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. And the unit here is henry. Okay, so if we redraw the circuit here, we will have 80 ohm here, 80 ohm, and then on the inductor side, we will have 20 times 10 to the minus 3 Henry. Okay, good, and we are asked about the time constant, right? Time constant, that will be the inductance divided by the resistance. The inductance is 20 times 10 to the minus 3. And then divided by the resistance, which is 80. So I will have, I think, a quarter here. So 20 divided by 80, I think that will be 0 0.25 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. And the unit here will be second. Or that will be 0 0.25 millisecond. Or if we want this into integer, I will have the tau is 250. And the unit here will be microsecond. So all of this is can be presented as our answer. So which is which is not a problem. And I think that's all for this problem. Hopefully, this will help you solve problem 7.15. So, the answer is 500 millisecond and 250 microsecond. That's all for this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.